playing in the NBA or playing in any stadium is a dream come true. Walking into these historical buildings where guys that I've grown up watching play and idolized, like Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, uh, said it's an amazing, very humbling feeling to be able to share the court or you know, be on the same floor as you know, those guys have been on before. Well, pretty much every day I'm gonna try to pancakes. My go-to. I like pancakes. <laughs> There's not like any hidden secret behind it. Like it make I don't think it makes me shoot any better. I'll play better. Get down. Off. Off. I'm not a superstitious guy. Um, I do whatever I, I need or what's necessary. If I need to stretch, I'll stretch. If I need to eat, I'm gonna eat. Can't say there's any real ritual. Sit. Jesus. Hmm. There's Nuke and Gizmo. They have more husky than Palm in them. He's a little smaller than Giz. Giz is bigger. Um, we're playing Miami today. It's the early game. It's Sunday. Most games on Sunday usually a little earlier. You know, it's the first time matching up with them. Obviously a very good team in the East. I mean, sometimes you never know how it's going to go. Um, obviously you hope for the best. You want to play the best. But any given night, any given team, you, you can lose. That's why it's the NBA. I've been coming here every summer for the last like 10 plus years, 13 years. I, I know how great of a city it is. I was excited about actually moving here. Know how big of a fan base it really was, or how crazy they were about the game of basketball here until you know, I became a Raptor. You know, unbelievable type of love and you know, feel and atmosphere for the game. It was a whole country behind you. You realize 37 million people, um, one team. takes care of the cars and washes them. Once you make it or become successful, it's your, part of your job, your duty, and you're to bring that back and help the other kids to get to where you are. I never got those opportunities when I was younger uh, to be able to interact with uh, an NBA player. My dad was a, a, a basketball player, a coach. He coached me pretty much all my life. And I've been playing since I was about five years old. I think you know, every kid that played basketball wanted to play in the NBA. I thought anything was possible as a kid, you think that, but you don't really see it come into light until later on in life. Then it becomes, you know, reality, you know, how hard it is to get there, how hard it is to get a Division One scholarship. Or, you know, I didn't start till my senior year, but even then, I said, you know, once you get drafted, you still have so much work to do. Playing in the NBA or playing in any stadium, it's a dream come true. 